Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope that you guys are having a marvelous Monday thus far. And so, of course, I'll be taking you through what is currently happening across the North Atlantic. We've got our fifth tropical wave out there. Five tropical waves making their way across the North Atlantic right now. And uh, we've also got a rainfall increase pretty likely for the Northern Caribbean. So I will be uh, going into details with that as well. And so before I delve into all of this please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update all right so as we take a look at the infrared satellite of the north atlantic we can see here that we've got some activity noted in some areas so uh, we've got some showers and thunderstorms in the vicinity of the southern Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands extending into sections of Cuba going down to the vicinity of Jamaica. Uh, looking out into the tropical Atlantic, we've got some convective activity likely in association with some of the tropical waves out there. So again, uh, we've got five tropical waves out there. One is in the Caribbean and the other four are out in the tropical Atlantic. Now let's take a closer look at these areas. Let's go down to northeastern South America. So right where uh, we've got that area of convective activity uh, is likely in association with the wave. So the second tropical wave of the season, that one is currently located over Suriname and making its way to the west and uh, there we see some activity offshore. But uh, down in southern Guyana going into parts of Brazil, we definitely see that flare up of all of those showers and thunderstorms. And so the region is likely going to be receiving some rainfall throughout today. I'm, uh, I'll be taking you guys to the rainfall total maps very soon. Uh, let's head to the Caribbean and see what is going on. So here we have uh, this map here. And so as I said earlier, we've got all of this shower and thunderstorm activity across sections of the southern Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands. Uh, where we see more of those dark reds and those black shades, that is where we have a lot more rainfall activity, a lot more showers and thunderstorms. And uh it's going to be a pretty rainy week for some of these areas here. Uh, going to Hispaniola, we're seeing that there isn't too much activity taking place right now. Same story for Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. Uh, we've got some cloud clusters coming out from the tropical Atlantic. And so uh, if there's going to be any rainfall activity across the Lesser Antilles, it will likely be maybe an isolated shower or so uh, as a result of those clusters moving in. Going down to Trinidad and Tobago, we're not seeing too much happening at the moment. Same story for the ABC Islands. Going over into uh, the Central American territories, we've got some showers and thunderstorms across some areas such as uh, Western Panama going to, section, going to sections of Costa Rica, uh, Nicaragua, and especially just in the vicinity of El Salvador and Western Honduras. But going further up, we're not seeing where there's too much happening for Guatemala, Belize, and also the Yucatan. Maybe just some brief showers here and there at the most. And so guys, now let's go ahead and move on to what is uh, anticipated in terms of the rainfall throughout today. So looking at the icon model, we've seen some of those shades of reds across especially uh, sections of northern South America and offshore of the uh, continent. And so uh, it is likely that, as I said, it's likely that these areas are going to be receiving quite a bit of rainfall activity throughout today. Uh, same story for Trinidad and possibly Tobago as well. But heading further up into the vicinity of the Windward Islands, uh, going to Barbados, the Leeward Islands, Islands, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, it isn't likely that there's going to be much rainfall activity through today. Same story for the ABC Islands. And uh, head into other areas such as uh, Cuba, Hispaniola, Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, possibly for the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands as well. Uh, there is likely going to be that continuous rainfall activity at times or uh, even especially head into the afternoon hours, there's going to likely be uh, that rainfall activity being induced. Lots of moisture and instability across the area right now. And then of course heading over into Central America, we see that some rainfall activity is likely along sections of Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, Nicaragua, going down into Costa Rica and Panama as well. But uh, for sections of eastern uh, Guatemala going to Belize and the Yucatan, not much rainfall activity is likely throughout today. And as we take a look at the GFS model, we can see that something pretty much similar is expected here. The model shows a bit more rainfall activity over in the vicinity of uh, the Yucatan as well as Belize. But but overall, something quite similar to the icon. And then finally, we have the euro also expecting a bit more rainfall for sections of uh, the Yucatan and Belize. And even into parts of the Lesser Antilles, guys. 
And so now let's look at this Saharan air layer map. So as we look more to those shades of reds, oranges, even that pink, that is a lot of dry air in abundance. And we're seeing that across most of the Atlantic, the Saharan dust is not so uh, dominant right now. We've got that plume, but for the most part, looking out into the uh, tropical Atlantic, the main development region, uh, there isn't a whole lot of dust, especially compared to last year, where there was just so much uh, continuously moving off Africa from the Sahara Desert. And so uh, let's now go ahead and talk about what could possibly be down the road in terms of the rainfall activity for the Northern Caribbean. So we're taking a look at what these models are expecting here. We'll be looking at GFS and Euro. And of course, I'll continue to talk about this as the days go by so that you guys always stay informed on what's happening out there and what is expected. So this is a map showing the isobars, which are those black lines. They are lines of equal pressure. And when we see them in a circular manner with a pressure at least 10, 13 millibars or lower, that is a low pressure system, which can be a tropical cycle. So let's see what's uh, expected. And there we have the forecast time right up there. And so, so those colors, those greens, yellows, oranges, they indicate the precipitation rate. And so let's see what's expected as we head throughout the, uh, to the latter part of the week, going to Thursday and Friday, we definitely see where lots of activities likely across the Northern Caribbean and the Bahamas and also for, uh, maybe for sections of Florida. And there we have two low pressure systems, one making its way up to the northeast and another loitering off the southeastern coast of the U.S., possibly developing into something. Uh, going on to the Euro model here, Euro is also showing all of that increased rainfall likely for the northern Caribbean and Bahamas, and it is also expecting that low pressure area to develop off the southeastern coast of the U.S. And so should we have two systems? The first two names to be used are Arlene and Brett. So let's see if uh, we're going to be seeing some Something as of this morning, earlier this morning, nothing is marked on the National Hurricane Center seven day uh, graphical tropical weather outlook, but of course. Uh we're having this consistency, not even with these two models, but with others as well in terms of what is expected. And so I wouldn't be surprised if we actually see something. And I also want to take you to the simulated infrared satellite imagery here. And this is by the GFS. This is what the satellite could look like as we progress through the week. Again, there we have the forecast time. Uh, so this isn't guaranteed, but I just wanted to show you guys what the model is expecting here. Uh, go into Wednesday, go into Thursday and the end of this week. There we are seeing a lot of activity expected across the Northern Caribbean. So uh, very, very interesting here. Uh, we even see all that activity out in the uh, tropical Atlantic, possibly as a result of those uh, tropical waves making their way to the west. So I wouldn't be surprised uh, to see all of this because things are heating up, things are setting up uh, as we're going to be progressing into the hurricane season. And in terms of seeing something off the East Coast, that isn't something surprising, and it is a typical origin spot during the month of June. So guys, as I said earlier, I will be keeping you updated on all that is happening, and so that is pretty much it for this update video. So I hope that you found it to be quite informative, but if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments, and you can also share your thoughts there. And of course, remember to always be weatherwise.